good day to you all welcome to my channel my name is Marlies and we're going to make the first page of my rainbow ring booklet in front of me is a piece of cardboard around two to three millimeters thick and I'm going to use it as a base for my collage the first layer is a layer of distress collage medium just apply a thin even layer on your cardboard apply the paper firmly and rub out all air bubbles underneath the papers that I'm using for this collage are from Tim Holtz. I am using the collage strips and the backdrops of volume 5. This first page, and this is also the cover, is all about the color purple. To create some extra interest in this booklet, I am going to add some layers and I'm going to add them to the side of the book and I can also add them to the top of the book. And the layer that I just added is out of the package from Tim Hall's Transparent Things number 2. I want to cover up this transparent layer, but that is already on the next page and also the next color in the rainbow and that is the reason why I'm adding a piece of blue paper. This paper is also slightly larger and will stick out on the side. While my collage is drying on the side, I can focus on my focal point for the cover for the purple page. I got out one of the photo frames and I'm covering it in a thin layer of Villainous Potion Distress Paint. While the frame is drying, I will work on this photomatic photo with some steel wool just to age and make it a little bit more rough. I will also crumple it up a little bit, make some folds or tear a corner. To add a little detail to this picture, I'm going to add a little number and I'm going to give it the same treatment. So just crumple it a little bit, tear a corner and age it with some brownish ink. I am going to give this photomatic photo and the paper number a basic layer. Uh, I'm going to add the basic layer with some distress collage medium and the layer will have a purpose because then you can add some other kind of medium on top. Before adding the next medium, I am going to add this little detail with the tiny attacher and I want my frame and photo to be glued together. And this will be my next layer, the Distress Crackle Paste Translucent. And I'm going to apply it on top of the photo with a palette knife. And you might think that is quite a thick layer, but later on you will see it will give a beautiful crackle. After putting on this layer of crackle paste, I will put this photo and frame to the side and I will let it air dry for the best crackle. Do not use your heat gun. Let's go back to the cover where I will glue down three circles on the side of the booklet and that is the place where the book rings will go through. The circles are cut out of the backdrops volume 5 and I have cut them out with one of the die sets from Tim Holtz, Collector. To create the cover, I surrounded myself with all kinds of papers, some collage strips, some pieces of the layer pack, uh, some backdrops, uh, leftovers, and also some of the ephemera. For now, we have a background, the collage, and we have a focal point, and that is a photo in the frame. But now I am looking for ways to combine those two together with some extra layers in between and just to make it appealing to the eyes. So underneath the frame I am adding some extra layers with some numbers and a piece of a purple tag. That on its own it's not enough layering for me, so I found some extra supplies to make my work more layered and interesting, starting out with adding a layer of mummy cloth underneath the frame.
On the left bottom part of the frame there is more than enough room to make some kind of little scenery. So I'm going to make it in a botanical style. I am adding a leaves and some flowers in sparkled paper. In my work there are always some leftover uh, spaces that are quite empty or neutral and I would like to fill those up with some little remnant drops. The remnant drops that I'm using are from Tim Holtz Specimen. After filling up those tiny gaps I can glue down this frame with the botanical decoration. I want to add some extra flowers on top of the botanical decoration that we created before and I'm going to use the brush strokes flowers mini set, the thinlets die set from Sizzix and Tim Holtz. I have cut them out out of watercolor paper and now I'm going to give them a color that will be matching with the color scheme that I already am using. So I got out some purple and I've got out some greens for the leaves. I am using my distress ink to color those pieces just put your distress ink onto your craft sheet, wet it down with a little bit of water and dab your paper pieces into it. You can dab multiple times but then dry your layers in between. I would like to make one of the adornments foliage matching with this frame, so I'm going to give it the same treatment. I will give it a layer of this trash paint, Villainous Potion. After everything has dried properly, it is time to assemble uh, it onto the frame and the cover. So I'm just uh, searching for the right spot for the leaves and the flowers. But before gluing down these leaves and flowers, I want to add something extra. And I've got out some loose threads that I want to put in between the layers. And I also added some moss. This video is almost done and I would like to point out that uh, of course in this mini journal are multiple pages. Every page has its own color and will have its own video in the next coming weeks. I hope you like my video. So if you do, please like, subscribe or comment down below. I also want to say that I have a Patreon page and a little coffee shop where I sell some digital kits. So feel free and welcome to visit them both.